I'm Shelly Jain. I have done my B.Tech in Computer Science from uh, SGS ITS Indore. Uh, my final year CGPA was uh, 7.6 and I finally got to score a good rank in GATE uh, and that is AIR 64. Currently I am doing my M.Tech in Computer Science in, from IIT Bombay. Uh, so I GATE. Uh, whenever I when I was in my B.Tech third year, so I was preparing for uh, getting internship in Microsoft and uh, uh, I prepared for that everything I I tried my best for that but finally I got rejected I was not even selected by uh, for the written test so uh, my dreams were shattered I was thinking what to do what not to do and then finally I thought maybe uh, it would be a good uh, place for me as I was a technical person and uh, so in the final year of my VTEC, I started preparing for GATE. So, um, as I was in Indore, I had a coaching institute there named Zeal. Uh, I joined the institute. In the beginning, I was not much focused. But uh, as soon as I got into the technical stuff, I was learning more and more. It was fun learning. And uh, there were regular test series. So, after each, uh, uh, so there was subjects completed in series. So, once a week is over, you had a test. And uh, that was a good judgment of your how much you are learning and I was scoring very good in that uh, thing and there were around 200 250 students preparing for uh, GATE and I was mostly I was under 10 uh, in all the test series so I was getting more and more into it and the placements were all shattered I was not preparing for that thing only and uh, finally as I was preparing very much technical so I got a good company there also I was selected in SAP Labs um, but uh, when I got a very good rank in GATE, so I thought, the, let's ditch Cephalus and go for GATE. And uh, so finally I took admission in IIT Bombay. So how did I prepare for GATE? Um, in, the beginning of, in the beginning of my final year, I started preparing for the GATE. I, so I joined, the, joined a coaching institute. I was not much aware of what is the syllabus and uh, what to prepare so my entire guide was my teacher. So uh, that was a big coaching institute and so many students joined, joined that institute. So they, uh, they, had a, they, they had a particular pattern and uh, the like, completion of the course before the exam, before two months before the exam and these were some of the things that uh, were important uh, for the gate. So, um, so my constant motivation was a regular test series that was there. So uh, almost every week there was a test and uh, marks were there on the board. So your rank was there. So that was a constant motivation. Uh, secondly, uh, yeah. So when we prepare for gate, uh, first point is regularity. Uh, uh, second point uh, that was, that is important is uh, time bound thing. That means when you whenever you are preparing for a uh, for a competitive exam like this, uh, you should take some test series, join some test series, and should ha and should try to complete the test in within the duration of the uh, within the duration that is given uh, in the actual examination. So uh, there there is also one one more thing that was considered important is you should there is a pattern that is, that should be followed for for solving the questions like. Uh, in GATE there is a pattern, we have common answer questions, we have linked answer questions. So mostly, uh, pe mostly people start uh, solving the question from the beginning which are one mark questions. And that is not good to start with because at times they are, they are mostly conceptual questions. Sometimes you may not be knowing and then this thing may lead to depression and you won't be able to solve the entire question paper in a good manner. So if you have prepared for GATE, so you should start from the end. You have linked questions there. and. Uh, so uh, in the first, in the beginning of your uh, attempt, like uh, in the first half, first half of the attempt, you can uh, you can secure some good amount of marks, and that will increase your motivation for solving the entire question paper. And uh, so uh, there are few points like this. You should complete your question paper beforehand. Like you have three hours for that. You should go. You should uh, give up one run to the question paper and two hours, and then give give next attempt. Second point is that don't stick to the questions. Like if you are not knowing a question that would ultimately lead to depression and you won't be able to solve the question that you are knowing. So just give one try to a question and then move on. This is one, the, one of the most important part. Uh, so the subjects that I considered important for GATE uh, computer science includes 
uh, CSO, Computer Science and Organizations, uh, TOC, TOC, Databases, Operating Systems, Data Structures. These five subjects constitute most of the question paper. Uh, also, the pattern of the question paper varies from the setting institute. So, uh, when one is preparing for the exam, you should see whether IIT Delhi or Bombay or whichever is prepare, is uh, forming the paper. And should and you should then see for the pattern that they are following because this is the most important thing that happens. And uh, one more thing, uh, normally people miss out maths and uh, things like web technologies and uh, propositional logic. These are some topics that constitute just one question out of the question paper. And uh, you can take benefit over these things. Like uh, they will be taking very less amount of your preparation time, maybe 10 days or so. In, if, the, if, if you start from the very beginning and you give 10 days for that, uh, then that would constitute some uh, additional to you. When, uh, when we need to make a choice among the institutes, uh, when you are having a good rank at your hand and you uh, can take admission in each and in every one of the colleges. So, uh, how I did was, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to have a good exposure of IIT. And uh, I was having ISC, IIT, Bombay, IIT, Kanpur, each and every one of it uh, over my hand. Uh, I made the choice of IIT Bombay because I want to, wanted to have exposure and uh, good placements. I don't want to be a, I don't want it to be a geek and things like that, so I didn't opt it for ISC. But uh, my suggestion for this is, if you want to uh, work in algorithms field, go for IIT Kanpur. If you want to work in machine learning, and um, so IIT Bombay is the best place as you can have the best, India's best brains over here. Uh, uh, ISC is a good place, it, uh, like it is for mainly known for research and uh, so almost every field is very good there and IIT Delhi and Bombay are comparable. So whenever you join an IIT, uh, you have two prospects. Uh, either you can go for research or for placements or for both. So a uh, uh, good point a tip I want to add here is that uh, after your exam is over, after your gate is over and you, are, you have some free time of 2-3 months left at you, so you should in that meantime you should either uh, Instead of wasting your time, you should try out some maths. Like uh, because IIT students have very good maths background, and uh, so all the professors have a impression that maybe you are also having that math background. And then, uh, when you are not having that background, you face pro problem in doing the subjects in uh, taking out in opting for those research areas which are maths oriented. And uh, so, in the meantime, preparing for probability and uh, stats is a very good option, and th this can open your is this can open for you many research areas. Secondly, for placements, start preparing for the algorithms, like doing things. This will also help to you uh, through the courses as well as for your placement preparation.